Okay, that should be about right. Things should be working. That is very true, Mecca. Autocorrupt. Although this one wasn't that bad. It was, uh, let's see if it's, right. come on. You can see me. Thank you. You can definitely tell that there's still junk all over the place. Um, so we're going to start off a little bit different, but we are going to move on to chisels tonight. And I know this looks bad. These are all of my bits uh, for my brace and bit. They have been dried. They are okay, but they have not been cleaned. So during the course of us doing chisels, they're going to get cleaned into the into the vinegar they go. They only need a few minutes worth and it'll clean them right up. And that, that one special will do that one by hand. Make sure I get the big fat one down at the bottom. I got my can of it. I got my can. Moving on is a uh, requirement. This point, there we go, into the vinegar. That's all right. That's all right. That's how I'm going to get famous, right? That, that's how you get famous on Twitch, posterior. Uh, the adjustable one will do uh, a little bit differently. I'm not going to set it in there because it's Actually, no, let's go for broke. Yeah, go for broke. Get me. There we go. Because I didn't think about this, but they do need to be uh, at least a little de-rusted. There we go. And they're all in the de-ruster, known as vinegar. All right. Before I go any further. Yeah. Get that off my hands. We'll put that in that barrel for right now. That'll be for other things. Now, why am I over here? Because I'm an idiot. Okay, anyway, other things. Yes, I said we're doing chisels tonight, but a little bit more upkeep. I just want to get a couple more things done. Ah, uh, no, chisels. Let's just do chisels. Not gonna hurt me in the slightest to move things around. Okay. So how are you doing, Mecca? And hopefully it's uh, paying attention to me now and not the butt. But I at least got, I at least got Twitch speaker working. We'll see about redeems and everything else. That was kind of ganked up by uh, whatever OBS update. Oh, that's not good. I could at least hear that one. All right, so. Start with the two easiest ones. Uh, 
and like even though most of this is just touch up what exists and make it good this one here is completely new which means we have to flatten the back and everything so we actually do have a good uh, let me put this one here so we know that that one's the flat in the back so I can go through the full process with that one and explaining myself. But basically, since you know, I had to wipe a layer of rust off of them, off of every single chisel, I don't trust that they have a flat back. I don't trust that they're sharp enough. It is time, and here's the fun part, these big boys are very hard to get fl <laughs> to do anything correctly because they have a nice like half inch on them but they don't really need a flat back come on <laughs> yes yes Most likely, really don't need to worry about flattening the backs on these because they probably are not all that much out of flat and nope, 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 wrong. There we go. Yeah. Or miss okay, that's the strop, which means if we do that, yay, okay. That's basically all I am at this point, Payne. How are you doing? Doing any better? Uh, heard about the uh, not-so-fun fall. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can, yeah, I don't know if I'd be able to, fix that okay I was right these things well are pretty much flat anyways Yeah, I'm not exactly sure why all of a sudden it decided to pick up the flutter of the fluorescent. But it is, which kind of annoys me. So right now we're just flattening the back, checking to see if uh, most, like I said, most likely we won't even have to spend more than five seconds on this because I took like an hour and a half out of my day to make sure they were flat before. And now it's just very light uh, tarnish and rust removal. Oh, wait, well, yeah, we'll leave. No. Let's do both of them right now, because the rest of them I don't have to pop a stone out. Plus, we're going to remake this eventually. Hey, Slime, how you doing? Also, Marley, thank you for dropping in and Life and Pain. Mecca, definitely thank you for dropping in. I know uh, I've been kind of ghosting you. And or not ghosting, I guess that's the wrong word. I've been lurking through your streams whenever I can.
always happy that you decided to be a mod even though half the time you're at work. <laughs> Very true. And feel free to ask. Um, I am not dependent on this guy. This is more just to make sure in case there's a funny pronunciation. I do have the robot ears in and the robot ears are finally working. Um, I don't know what the grits are, but I will tell you they are DMTs, uh, dia sharps, coarse fine, extra fine. Um, one day I'm going to have to bring down my actual water stones, um, uh, natural water stones, not synthetic water stones, and show you how to sharpen from one stone, building it as coarse all the way up to ultra fine. But today's not the day. That is a very, very slow process. Um, let's see, what is it? I have a. Do I have. How are you doing, Kat? Glad to see you here. All right. Oh, doing pretty good. Uh, we're finally making some distance on stuff. Um, right today on, on restoring and, and maintaining tools 101, chisels, sharpening chisels. At the very beginning, I did drop off all of my... Uh... So what I'm doing here when I feel like that... Oh! And uh, when I feel that, uh, give me two seconds and I'll get you, I'll get you a tune here. Um, I'm really just feeling for the burr. It'll just catch your skin. And once you've got that, you flatten on the next stone to kill that burr. At a, about a 30 degree angle, just go for a little bit. These are probably going to be much faster to sharpen and tune than the planes because... I typically try to keep them extra sharp and covered in oil. And these are actually kind of expensive mortising chisels because I bought them new, but I love them. All right. I'm going to have to build a new strop here soon. Very true. Very true. And, well, I mean, life in pain last time, and I may do it at the end here, I was flattening, making sure that the bottoms were flat again, which is why tuning up the planes takes longer because I was literally re taking them apart, tuning them up, putting them back together, re-acknowledging re the fit. All right. Let's see, oil or wax? Uh, they're chisels. It's easier to oil. A little bit of three-in-one. Chisels or planes? Cat. Which ones seem to take forever? Well, I mean, it, it's a skill. All right.
And part of it is I have years of training, not with chisels, not with plain blades, um, but with straight razor knives. Yes, I know my barbarian beard does not uh, make it look like it, but I sh when I do shave, I shave with a straight razor. And I learned on on natural water stones. So I, I already had kind of the muscle memory of how to hold a blade at a constant angle and all that kind of fun jazz. Heck, I'll probably get all through all of my chisels really fast anyway. Cause... Well, we do have that one, which is going to be the variable because that one is the new chisel. It does not have a flat back. And for those who uh, have been here whenever I get a new chisel, you know it's like a 30 to 40 minute tuning session. I mean, that's all right. There's, there's no shame in using a guide. Is that what and bunnies? Bears and bunnies. <laughs> um, is there a story behind that one? I, I feel like there's something I'm missing here. Why? <laughs> not an abomination it's just a unique creature <laughs> franken tats you do not want to know what that came out as in, in the uh, in the tts that was a horrible horrible rendition of vowels and consonants and this is my new uh, well, you can't see it. My new coaster from Sticker Mule. <laughs> Christmas Critter Christmas. All right. Something happened. No. Stop it. Windows. How much have I told you? I don't feel like upgrading to the next Windows. Okay, question. Do more chisels um, that have already, you know, had their true, uh, their initial truing, or should I true this one from the beginning? This one is a I don't have a bowl gouge, guys. <laughs> I I honestly do not have a bowl gouge, but I do have turning tools. I now have and yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, for the sake of learning, we're going straight from a raw, completely new chisel. This is the 3 8 the thing I ordered like a year ago and it finally came in. So what we're doing now, seeing how flat the back is or how much of a problem the back is, and you'll see me switch side just to make sure that there's even wear. One thing I am very happy about is I now have a full set of chisels and then you'll flip and look for the 
scratch lines where it's mirrored and where it isn't. Oh yeah, song. Sorry about that. Yes, yes. Sorry about that. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Um, and here's the fun part. My my cheating book is gone, so it literally has to come from memory now, guys. All right. Um. Since it's, it's been a while, we're going to go with the easiest one I know, the one that's... I know the tune, and my brain is thinking of it, but I can only think of the refrain for Santayon. Santayon of <laughs> well, you're just full of songs today, aren't you, <laughs> Slime? Um, give me, give me a couple seconds here. I'm, I'm running through different verses in my head. As much as I don't really want to fall back on K-Y-A-R. So what I'm doing is looking to see where... I remember the tune, whether or not I remember the words is the problem. What I'm looking for is a shiny, the shiny parts here and what we're trying to do. Most people just make this part shiny and forget the rest. I try and make the whole back flat. So once you get a good shine going down the entirety of it, you have a fully flat back. And that's why it takes forever with me. Um, let's see. Um, I have a way to cheat this, don't I? No, I'm just joking. Let me look up lyrics. I don't actually need to be looking at this, so boop doo boop -a doo Ooh, yeah, I didn't think about that. One second, here. Lyrics, yay. And we may not make it all the way through. But we'll try. Farewell and adieu to you Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu to you ladies of Spain. For we have daughters to sail to old England. But we hope in a short time to see you again. We'll rant and we'll roar like true bloody sailors. We'll rant and we'll roar out on the salt seas. 
Until we strike soundings in the channel of old England from the ocean to Scilly to 35 leagues. We'll hove our ship to with the wind at the south foot. Hove our ship to for taking sounds clear in 55 fathoms with a fine sandy bottom we fill our tops and the channel did steer will rent and will roar like true british sailors will rent and will roar out on the salt sea because we well, uh, yeah one of those ones where I have to actually think about singing. Okay, next! We'll try another one. Um, and yay, I get to cheat by using this now. Uh, how about we... How about Google work the way you do? Google, you want to work? Damn it, Google. There we go. <laughs> We're trying. Oh, Santi on again, a day away, Santi on Now pull the yarn up the west, they say, along the plains of Mexico. We'll heave her up and away we'll go, away, Santiana. Heave her up and away we'll go, along the plains of Mexico. She's a fast clipper ship and a bully good crew, away, Santiano. And an old salty yank for a cap. Into along the plains of Mexico. <laughs> All right, I I try. Okay, it's <laughs> Oh <laughs> What the hell's gotten into you, cat? <laughs> All right. Luckily, with the uh, the narrower blades, these don't need that much. Oh, that's that's a very very viable answer there. <laughs> it seems relatively flat. So, after about you know twenty minutes or so of this now we should be able to start sharpening the blade. Um, when, I, when I flatten the blade, I don't, I don't flatten the back across all the stones. There's no reason to do that. Unless you're having trouble seeing the shiny versus the rough, which I am not really having trouble. Like we've got a little bit of rough here and a little bit of rough here. And that's why I flatten the whole back, if you notice. Flat, rough, so a little bit not flat, rough so like just a little bit up front there if 
feel free to do it. I'll definitely look. Now, is this a uh, taxidermy? Is this a picture or like a drawing? I want to know. Make sure I at least hit everything. We got hydrates and KYAR. Okay. And I at least tried on two songs, but we're going to... Oh, Jesus. I could have just been... <laughs> I've been practicing one song in general that I pretty much should know most of the way through. I didn't even think about that. My baloney has a first name. That's all right. Let's see what we got here. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> it's an abomination, but it's a cute abomination. I just, it, it just echoed like it, it was playing what you typed at just like a, a millisecond off from each other. And that just kind of like hit me in a weird spot. <laughs> oh, but I mean, even ugly things can be cute. We know. <laughs> God forbid I ever shave again. I won't be able to hear the end of it. Because you are. <laughs> Stop using my words against me. Oh, nice. I don't know if I've seen that. It actually put a pause in there for the comma. He's alive. He just... Being him in the middle of nowhere. Sounds good, Mecca. Okay, we're starting to build up a, a flat area there. I almost wonder, I probably might need to get new stones, but I don't know. Not, not because... Yeah, but he's supposed to be building D&D &D out of wood. Where's my dungeon screens and my random infomercials while building dun dungeon screens? Sadly, I think 
<laughs> Sadly, I think Omnius actually beats the output of uh... Jesus. What what is the company's name again? It's it's uh, pole barn is it's got four poles at each corner and it just has a roof over it. So it, it's a big open area. You usually just like store cars or something. Thank you, Wormwood. And Jesus, TTS doesn't know how to say worm. W-Y-R-M wood. <laughs> it's not a tent. Yeah, it's like a carport, basically. Rain. <laughs> it's a car hold. Fati da, Mr. I have a garage. It's a car hold. We're getting there. I knew this one was going to take the most time, but we're getting there. Like this part, I'm not worried about because it's just a little bit of a hollow right there. I do want this part to line up with that part though. If you do get Wood River chisels, yeah, yeah. Um, when you, if you do get these chisels, I have never seen a pole barn get completely enclosed. But then again, I grew up in the deep south where you didn't really want to do that. You just put four poles in the ground and put a metal roof on top of it. But then again, Mecca, you're from the Great White North, so that might that might explain that. Yep, we're getting there. Actually, let's almost wonder. Well, they can they can share a hotel. You could always make it. Is there any way to make it like a like a goat castle for your for your rabbits? It's longer than most dogs. Speaking of, Max is getting up there. He's what, 10 or 11 now? Still the most hyper puppy in the world. But yeah, if you get a wood river ch set of wood river chisels, you will benefit greatly from just suffering and flattening the back on them. They they come decently flat, but not flat. Well, yeah, you should have seen. Well, you didn't get to see Max at a year old. He was a fireball. <laughs> Yeah, Gadget is still very much a puppy. But at least they get along so they can have puppy play dates. Come on! Flatten! Please? We are making progress, it just... Flattening the back always feels like you're not making progress because you're just doing the same thing over and over and over. But we're getting there. I'm 
fact, I might take a quick rest from flattening this and just start hitting the other chisels. My word, Wes, that sounds like a grand idea. That way I can at least say I got through a good amount of the chisels tonight. This is the great thing about socket chisels. <laughs> Whenever you're uh, sharpening them, you can take the handle right off. With all the sharpening I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to be uh, probably just friction burning my fingertips away again. No fingerprints for me. Crime for three weeks. Also, that anti-mold spray seems to be doing its job on the leg of this uh, workbench. Okay, what emote is that, dear? That's the only thing that doesn't show up in my uh, ears. I, I turned emotes off. So I don't just get a jarble of text whenever an emote comes in. Or when there's a bunch of them spammed. All right, next one. No, no to crime or no to burning my fingertips off because of all of the sharpening. He's grumpy cat. Okay. I'll be a good boy then. For now. That one I definitely can't make out what it is at all. Looks like a light bulb, a pink light bulb being surrounded by, oh, cool. That makes, yay, okay. I have to say that like constantly sharpening these throughout woodworking is making me very happy about restoring these because it's taking two seconds to do the chisels. <laughs> Except for the one that needs to be 
fully fully tuned in for its initial Next. Hopefully it's being more uh, agreeable at the moment. You were having some trouble earlier. Yay! Fireworks! Fireworks for chill. For the slime. Slim. Slim, slim, slim. Oh, is that why they weren't going in? Hey, I'm sorry. I'll just have to buy you another one. who didn't notice it at the beginning. There is a pirate hat down here. I'm starting to bring all the old accoutrements back down. Although I know Slime's not going to use it because she's going to force me to do a painting stream at some point in time. Because <laughs> my paints did actually survive the fun times. So we do have paint. And we do have brushes. The only thing I don't have is canvas. I still have my easel. So we could always do a Bob Ross stream at some point in time. Call it not Babe Ross. And honestly, if you go through something like I have where you have to like clean rust off the tools and all that stuff, it's always good to just go ahead and re-flatten the backs. Um, it just helps keep, uh, keeps the backs in line and makes it easier to sharpen your chisels fast knowing that the backs are still flat. Said, once you can feel that burr, you know you can move on to the next one because you completely turned that edge into a point. You feel free to do that. They're 
complicated looking. Okay, that's just insulting me at this point. I don't even know how to make a guitar. <laughs> I shall have to take off the white glove and challenge you to a duel. Chicken butt? Sorry, I can't help but do that. Okay, I didn't slice my fingers. We're good. I wonder what the heck the uh, delay is, because it still hasn't said what you typed in there, slime. That or it's just process. Maybe the longer it is, the longer it has to process it. There we go. Just, <laughs> it's like hanging out there going. Eventually I'll say, <laughs> eventually I'll read out what, what Slime said. That or maybe it just gave up, who knows. There is that possibility actually that it just gave up and stopped working. Oh, we're getting raided. And there's the proof that it's not working quite right. Oh. So how are you doing, Owen? Well, welcome in everyone. I'm Wes. This is Plain Old Woodworking. Uh, usually I'm doing woodworking, but for the next probably several weeks, it's going to be tool maintenance. Right now, today is chisel day. Um, for the long story, uh, the shop got flooded to right about up here. Um, so we had to clean and de-rust everything. And now that everything is clean and de-rusted, or not everything is clean and de-rusted, but now that I have things... <laughs> oh, thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Owen. But now that everything is, uh, things are clean and de-rusted, I can start tuning them up. Uh, last week I was tuning up planes, the, right now, chisels, hopefully Sunday will be saws. Yeah. Everything is at least dried off and demudded. We're in several states of getting rid of rust and in several stages of retuning everything up. Right now, I do have all of my uh, brace bit, uh, turn bits, sitting in a bucket of vinegar at the moment while we're doing this, so I can wipe the, the rust off of them and get a little oil on them. getting somewhere. 
because I have usable planes and now I have usable chisels, hopefully Sunday usable saws, and then it'll just be cleaning the specialty stuff. Um, and that's literally where I really am with, with de-rusting is specialty things. Get the oil on this guy. Because one of the next things I want to de-rust off, off camera is what's in this box. This box is new. What's in there is not. This is my Stanley 45. Um, the box itself is an old Stanley 45 box. But that's probably the next thing I'm going to de-rust off of the camera because that's Vinegar, toothbrush, vinegar, toothbrush. <laughs> I don't know if you guys want to watch me scrubbing a, a combination plane with a toothbrush for 40 minutes. But thank you again for raiding in here, Owen. Always good to see you in. I know. Regular old white vinegar. By the gallon. But regular old white vinegar, that's what I use. It's awesome to see that all of my chisels now have like age marks on them. They're like, yep, we've seen things. And you're just looking at this new little 3 8 chisel like I mean, heck, actually a lot of people watched me de-rusting, like literally pulling planes out of a bucket of rusty vinegar and just scraping them all off. I know, uh, well, I don't, actually, Mecca, that might have been the day that you couldn't watch. <laughs> oh... I, I miss having these these witty fun times. But yeah, my my bench is in a set a set of disarray. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know if any of my if I've done a Sunday stream in a while because we've had a lot of things pop up on Sundays. Um, piece by piece, Owen, piece by piece. You just gotta rivet and weld it back together when you're done. So after de-rusting them, you do that. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. I, yeah, I guess that would be true because like welds are very, very brittle. But I don't know. So I will take your word for it. Everything's held together with super glue. Got it. Okay, I knew about the rivets. Okay.
Nope, nobody's banned from this channel unless you're a bot. And you're not cat bot. And sorry, I know I'm breaking one of the tenets of plain old woodworking. This isn't some sort of cider or rum, so... No. But then again, it, early on it used to be tea or coffee, so... Right now it's just juice. You're too clever to be a bot. And I can throw logical problems at you. Hey, thank you for the follow there, old drum. Um, I'm... <laughs> I can throw illogical problems at you and you don't immediate, immediately explode, so I'm pretty sure you're not a bot there, cat. <laughs> There we go, nice and sharp. Oh yes, um, so something you might be interested in here, Owen. Um, I mean, you already know about my little, my, my super underpowered beginner lathe that it still works, um, but all like the chisels they weren't worth restoring they were rusting like hell they were pre high speed steel or um but uh i now have three lathe tools i've got a roughing gouge parting tool and a skew. Figured if I'm going to learn how to play with the lathe, I might as well learn to play with the bare minimum tools needed. Am I going to be any good? Probably not. last of the existing chisels and then we go back to the new chisel. The inch and a quarter, the big mamba jamba. And you can tell on the bigger ones I gave up at flattening them. They're flat all the way around the edge and there's just this little bit of concave in the middle. Where I was just like, okay, if you got flat edges, you're good. Which is why whenever you do work like this, I always just go ahead and flatten the back again. Because then you get a little bit more work on it. I'll, I'll probably never see these things truly flat across the back because of how big they are. But I'll keep them going. It's better that they are a little bit hollow on the back than fat. I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm sorry, everyone. My alerts aren't working properly. Whatever happened with OBS 28 kind of just shut my alerts down or they're partially working like the TTS portion of it works. 
uh, the, the text portion of it works, but like all of the video clips and audio clips. I, I suppose I could. One second here. Give me two seconds. Let me finish this out and I'll straighten back out for you. Like things like that where it yells at me. Yeah, it, it really is something to do with the WebSocket, but it's not completely impaired, which is weird. Like, portions of it are working. Like, the only portion that's working is the text portion. Stand up straight here for a second. Okay. Posture. Yeah, I'm 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 probably gonna run through and like uninstall, reinstall, uninstall, reinstall, and see if I can get stuff to work. Um, I think it has to do with the fact that I was using like WebSocket 4.9 before the update and WebSocket, it's on WebSocket 5.0 now. Well, it's too late for me now. <laughs> now I just have to figure it out. I'm hoping like 28.1 comes out in a week or something. All right, back to flattening the back of my new chisel. Sorry, I didn't realize that was there. Actually, we could probably do this. Ha 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 I don't know if that's worse or better. Nah, that's probably not good. Sorry guys, probably popping your ears doing that. This is the longest and most boring part of tuning up a new chisel, flattening its back. If anything, Maybe it's worth buying something from Lee Nelson so you don't have to do this. But we're getting there ever so slowly. We're just going to need a little bit up here and then we're done. Like why? Why does it have to be right at the nose where it's, I mean like right at the edge, I can tell I've actually ground some down and gotten it flat, but like this entire portion right here is concave. Like 
I just want to get some feet on there. Mecca, you were the one that did the posture check. Okay, I for whatever reason, I thought it was Owen that did the posture check. Also, sorry for like wearing a completely get up, different get up, my, uh, my actual woodworking things over here. Uh, but considering like the amount of grease and rust and everything else that's on these, I think it's probably better not to wear the the actual apron. Oh, it's starting to close in. Yay, that means we're getting close. That's good. High hopes. High hopes. High hopes. Let's get this one done. Do, 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 do. Bad horse, bad horse. He's really, really bad. The thoroughbred ascent. Yep, it's starting to close in. Yes, good. One of those things where it feels like you're doing nothing for the longest time and then once you get to that point where it starts to just all close up and flatten, you're like, yay, thank you. Which is why like, I was like, ah, I'm going to take a break and just work on the other chisels for a bit. Because <laughs> I feel like I'm getting nowhere and showing you nothing but how to flatten the back of a chisel. So now that all of my chisels are nice and sharp, except for Mr. New 3 8 socket chisel, now you get to see a true first tuning of a chisel. Although I've done this a few times now, like every time I got a new socket chisel, I would just sit there and flatten it on screen. Because you guys are masochists and you really love watching me just scrape metal against a metal. If I was knitting, there would be alcohol nearby and there'd be a lot of cursing like a sailor. Of course you would watch me knit. It would be hysterical to watch me knit. I might even throw whatever I was knitting against the wall. <laughs> oh, another thing to talk about while we're just sitting here rubbing steel against steel and diamonds. Um, since a lot of what was downstairs got um, permanently retired, <laughs> I, have a, I, I have a nice open space and when, when I get to actually doing woodworking again, if we do a drafting stream, instead of doing it here like we did last time, we could possibly do it on my walnut desk um, downstairs and have a little bit better of a setup so that when we're drafting out a project, it isn't this camera up way up here trying to show you what's down here. It, it could actually be literally like right here on my desk, just pointed right down and have another one that's like really close to my face. That, you know, have a completely different setup and just have it at the walnut desk. So 
super cook. It's super cook. But yeah, no, I, I, I agree with you on that one. I, I definitely agree with you on that. I think it will benefit greatly on the uh, drafting new projects streams to actually have it as like a, a true top-down desk view. Plus, it's a walnut desk me and my dad built. That. It's possible to do that. I just, I would, let me, let me get my tools all done. We can, we can figure out a different way to throw cameras around here. Cause I mean that the, the computer is much smaller now. I could even put the computer right here and have like, Yep, yep. That's exactly it's woodception. We're getting there ever so slowly. Like I said, this is this is Hey, hey Cross, how are you doing? Uh, we are sharpening and tuning up chisels tonight. Like I said, this is this is what you pay for when you get uh, Lee Nilsson chisels. You pay for this step, making sure that the chisel is fully up and tuned. As long as it's decent steel, you can do exactly what they do. It just takes forever. That's a good question. When will you be streaming again? I know, uh, what was it? Half blind, half blind woodworking is uh, streaming again too. They, they were setting up their new shop. I had to go in and taunt them because it's half blind, why not taunt? You could always do what I do, Cat. <laughs> yeah. I recently turned to having robotic ears, so I don't have to actually read this at all. I didn't shout out half blind. I guess we got the name wrong a little bit. No, you can shout out anyone. Um, I think it's probably because I have it set where you have to have where it has to be exact. Meaning if you put words in front of it, it probably negates it. I'll be fixing that soon. Especially for things like uh, the max command. Yeah, definitely. Because Mechaform's definitely got some good streams. 
We're almost there, guys. Almost there. Another like three hours and it'll be fat. <laughs> I've never heard it can pronounce that way. Your double carrots came up as happy face in TTS. So it said happy face hack, Mecca. <laughs> I had to like look at it and I was like, what? That's all right. You still got stuff done today, Mecca. That's all right. I understand that one completely. That just means we can taunt Cat and she cannot taunt back. Blah! <laughs> Quick, everyone think of something to taunt her with. Ah. Yep, this is like the absolute most mind numbing chore is the first setup of a chisel <laughs> is getting that back flat but then again like i said most people only do this portion of it and i tend to try and do the entire back because i'm an overachiever but we're almost there Yes, I said that, what, five minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago, an hour ago. <laughs> hey, but once you do this, that, that's the other thing is like everyone does that first like half inch because uh, you know, that, that, that's good enough. But if you do the entire back, you really never have to do it again. You notice like when I touched up the chisels because I had to clean rust off of them, flattening the back took, what, 15 seconds? It's just a quick, oh, yep, no, it's touching. We're good. And then just went on to sharpening. So like I never really have to like flatten the backs again. I know that the back is flat. So I'd rather just do the entire length of chisel. I just don't know how that part is, that one part at the very end is dished. That's just so funny. Okay, let's do that. Pull the excess steel off of it. New fluid. Let's see if we can get it cut and fast again. That is something you do have to do. Every once in a while, is just clean the stone back off.
but also these stones may have suffered a little bit because they went into the drink as well. So they may not be cutting as well as they used to. Up, up, up. There we go. Starting to close on the sides. Hey, Timber, how you doing? Right now we are prepping uh, a new chisel. It's odd to say since I've been rescuing all of my tools from flood and this chisel is actually completely new. It came in the week after the flood. But we had cleaned the rust off of all the other chisels and sharpened them earlier today. And as soon as this thing closes in on a flat back, we can sharpen it and then we can start cleaning off all of those start cleaning off all of those uh, twist bits for my bit and brace. It is starting to flatten that last little bit. We've got like a about a quarter of an inch that just is hollow right there at the very edge. Technically I could stop and just go ahead because the very edge is flattened. Oh, um, well you're catching me right near the end, but we recently have been doing basically just tool maintenance because of the whole flood. Um, and today has been uh, prepping and sharpening chisels. Um, this is my latest uh, Wood River socket chisel. Um, but what we had done, basically all of my chisels here, we had reflattened the backs or double checked that they were flat and yeah, no woodworking, just, just sweat working. <laughs> uh, hopefully within the next few weeks, I'll actually start woodworking again, the way my uh, cleanup efforts have been. I mean, uh, was it Sunday stream? I'm gonna be uh, sharpening saws which is going to be fun. That's why I said no woodworking. It was, it's still work. Oh, fine. I'll find a new place for oh, it. It got some bangs in my eyes. Boop -doop -doop. All right, that should be better. Hopefully that's better. And now I just need to blow directly into the mic. looking at these now there there's a good portion of it that's still good but I may have to replace the stones just they may have gotten ruined under the water but like this big dark space right here feels way smoother than the rest of the stone that might be part of the problem 
that might be why like when I was doing this we actually made progress on flattening the front and that might actually be why the front wasn't flattening oh there we go yep I I I guarantee you that portion has lost its diamond then I really don't want to replace those. They're supposed to last 10, 15 years. But then again, Arkies do too. Up oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so yeah. Let's get this done. I am tickled pink that we've had so many people talking today. I know I'm doing one of the most boring parts of woodworking, but woodworking nonetheless. It's the part that nobody wants to do. Yep, it's closing in. Definitely closing in now. Okay, good. Thank you for the Roy Underhill there, dear. There we go. Now I'm feeling better. I might have some cookies before I go to bed. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, yeah, it's definitely starting to close in. Maybe five minutes more. Yay! Stream reward. You did a stream. Have a cookie. <laughs> I slay me. Actually, I may just need to file card these. I think that's just a deposit of steel that I'm looking at there. Yay! Yep, there we go, yep. But either way, it is finally closing. This this is what I meant by like, <laughs> I could flatten the back of this chisel and it'll be the entire time. Oh no, dishes. That's interesting, huh? So the uh, text-to-speech actually pronounced XOXO as hugs and kisses. I'm learning. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, but it still says LOL. It, so it doesn't say laughing out loud, but it does say hugs and kisses. Okay, okay. That one was weird. BRB WTF Intercrafrol. <laughs> That one came out as letters as well. I wonder why only XOXO did that. <laughs> that one came out as a fake. Gotta wonder who programmed that in. <laughs> yeah, that one we know. Screw the others. Feel free to do it. I'll just go insane, but feel free to do it. <laughs> I mean, like, what was it? Double carrots up. It, it pronounced it as happy face. So I think it's got emoticons in there if you want to try those. I'm pretty sure it would pronounce uwu as uwu. Very close. Yep, happy face Gilmore. <laughs> it pronounced uwu as yuwu. I know I never did it, but I, I now remember hear, hearing myself say, I need to buy an extra course diamond for just for flattening backs. That one definitely worked there. <laughs> Chill. Miss, Miss Lam. Uh... <laughs> That one came out exactly the way you were hoping. <laughs> I will not say it on the camera this time. Maybe later. Yeah, it's almost closed. We've at least got... I mean, we all have that. We come equipped with that. Maybe I should have timed how long it takes to flatten this back. that it's flat so let's get on to sharp all right
This is the best part. This is the first time sharpening it, so its bevel is super small compared to the other ones which I've been using forever and have like a bevel that's an eighth of an inch wide at this point. That is the last chisel, guys. The last. Strop. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And oil. Well, just make sure. Blip, blip, blip. Get it super oily. And it is a new chisel, so I like to at least make sure that that gets hit. I grew up watching that show. <laughs> I, I loved watching the Beverly Hillbillies. Um, even though like I'm a youngin, I still watched all of the older stuff growing up because we didn't really have cable. So it was whatever came on the five or six channels we had until we had cable. Okay. At this point, we should probably, most likely, find you guys a place to raid out on. So, and then I'm just gonna wipe down the, uh, the brace bits out of the vinegar off screen here, because it really only takes like well, it actually, it'll take about 30 minutes to do it. <laughs> Very true. Hey, Shanigans, you're, you're popping in right at the end there. I'm sorry. Let's see, who do we got here? We've got, let's see, Lone Mountain. We've got Anchored Albatross is doing a pinata. Guitar uh, Texas Space Agency, JP Sunset Woodworking, Rage Guitars. Oh, wow, Rage is going. You know, let's see, one second, let me turn the volume off. What is Rage actually doing? Okay, just wanted to double check before I threw you guys there. Um, all right, now let's check other things. What else do we have? Also, guys, feel free to throw suggestions at me. Right now, we are looking around. As much as I like to raid out to other Craftsman's Guild members, I also like raiding out to people I don't know. Just, you know, uh... Spread the love and awareness. There's a picture of me looking at my phone to look for things to raid out of. Unfortunately, Wednesday nights are usually not a good one to find woodworkers. Be as fashionably late as you want to there, Shan. <laughs> a lot of models today. That's Legos.
Okay, we're going to go back to, let's see. I think we'll, uh, we'll do JP. We'll go JP Sunset Woodworking here. All right, guys. Now we know what's going to go on. The, I haven't touched my keyboard in a while, so we got to get it to remember that it exists. There we go. Starting to learn things. JP underscore sunset would work. All right. Okay. Yay. It works. Okay. Good. Um, guys, at some point in time, I'm going to figure out the credits function uh, and have that roll up. But that is very true, Mecca. Everything went really well, except for the fact that my alerts don't work properly. So guys, uh, we're going to raid out to JP uh, Sunset Woodworking. Uh, it looks like he's doing something at least on a router table here. Um, like I said, <laughs> we'll, we'll be back Sunday and uh, most likely we'll be tuning up the saws at that point in time. And, and until then, I hope you guys have a good time. Say hello in the raid and see you then.